T minus 35 seconds. We're just a few seconds away from switching command to the onboard computer. We've gone for auto sequence start. T minus 25 seconds and counting. The sequencer on board now controlling the final second. T minus 17 seconds and counting. The body flap and speed brake are in launch position. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, we go for main engine start, we have main engine start, and ignition, and liftoff, liftoff of SDS-7 and America's first women astronaut, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Roger and roll, Challenger. Houston now controlling, mission control confirms roll maneuver started. 20 seconds, the rust looks good. 25 seconds, roll maneuver completed. 30 seconds, Challenger now one nautical mile in altitude. Throttling engines down now to 75% is programmed. 40 seconds, uh, Challenger now two and a half nautical miles in altitude. 45 seconds, Challenger now three nautical miles in altitude. 50 seconds coming up now and create a maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. 55 seconds, Challenger, four and a half nautical miles in altitude. Mark, one minute. Pass through max Q, still looking good. Throttling en engines back to 104%. Giving a go at throttle up. Challenger Houston, you're going throttle up. One minute, 25 seconds. Challenger now 11 nautical miles in altitude, 8 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 3,700 feet per second. Mark, one minute, 40 seconds. Challenger now 16 nautical miles in altitude, 13 nautical miles downrange. Crippen Halkin Company now coming into the last traces of the Earth's atmosphere. Challenger now 19 nautical miles in altitude. One minute, 55 seconds, Challenger, 21 nautical miles in altitude, 21 nautical miles downrange, standing by now for solid rocket booster PC. separation. Roger, sound. 12 minutes, 12 seconds, confirm good solid rocket booster separation, uh, the booster's falling away now. Two minutes, 20 seconds. Challenger Houston, your first stage performance was nominal. Roger, nominal first stage. That was Capcom Roy Bridges advising first stage performance. Onboard guidance is converging now as programmed. Challenger is now steering for a precise window in space for main engine shutdown. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Challenger 35 nautical miles in altitude. Standing by now for two engine towel capability. Challenger Houston, you have two engine towel capability. Mark three minutes, that call up by Capcom Roy Bridges says that Challenger now has landing capability at Dakar Airport should one engine go out. Mark three minutes, 10 seconds. Challenger's three main engines continue to run smoothly. Challenger's five person crew really moving out now. Velocity now reading 7,200 feet per second. Three minutes, 25 seconds, Challenger, 45 nautical miles in altitude, a return status check and mission control by Flight Director Jay Green. Three minutes, 35 seconds, crew aboard Challenger given a go to continue. Three minutes, 40 seconds, Challenger, 48 nautical miles in altitude, 105 nautical miles down range. Standing by now for negative return call up by Capcom Roy Bridges. Challenger Houston, negative return. Three minutes, 57 seconds. With that call up, Crip and Hout ride Fabian Thagard uh, committed to space travel. Roger that. Four minutes, 10 seconds. The uh, flash evaporator has been activated to provide cooling for Challenger. Mark four minutes, 20 seconds. Challenger now 54 nautical miles in altitude, 155 nautical miles downrange. 
Velocity now reading 9,500 feet per second. Mark 4 minutes 35 seconds, Challenger 55 nautical miles in altitude, 174 nautical miles down range, velocity now reading 10,000 feet per second. minutes 50 seconds, Challenger 56 nautical miles in altitude, well 196 nautical miles down range. Mark five minutes, standing by now for Press D'Amico. Challenger Houston, Press D'Amico. Five minutes, 10 seconds, a Press D'Amico call from Capcom. That sounds great, Crip. The Press D'Amico call says, should Challenger lose one engine, uh, press on, keep flying forward. Challenger's engines have enough energy to achieve normal altitude and velocity at cutoff. Five minutes, 30 seconds, Challenger 58 nautical miles in altitude, 260 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading uh, 13,000 feet per second. Five minutes, 42 seconds, uh, standing by now for single engine tower. Challenger Houston, you have single engine towel capability. Six minutes, four seconds. That report from Capcom Bridges indicates if a two engine failure occurred, the crew aboard Challenger is capable of an emergency landing at Dakar Airport. Six minutes, 15 seconds. Challenger 59 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 350 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading uh, 15,300 feet per second. Mark 6 minutes 30 seconds, uh, Challenger now 58 nautical miles in altitude, Challenger pitching over now, diving to increase velocity, level off altitude, giving Challenger best attitude. 6 minutes 45 seconds, Challenger 58 nautical miles in altitude, 422 nautical miles down range. Seven minutes, uh, standing by now for single engine press to Miko. Challenger Houston, single engine press to Miko. Seven minutes, 20 seconds. That report says Crippen and Hell can achieve normal engine cutoff targets even if two engines go out. Seven minutes, 30 seconds, G-Force is building uh, now for Crippen, Hawk, Ride, Fabian, Thagard, coming up to three Gs, Challenger now 58 nautical miles in altitude, 570 nautical miles down range, velocity now reading 22,000 feet per second. Seven minutes, 50 seconds. Uh, Flight Dynamics reports uh, velocity 23,000 feet per second. Challenger's three main engines slowly being throttled back now to accommodate the G-forces before main engine cutoff. Challenger 59 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 690 nautical miles downrange. Standing by now for main engine cutoff. Roger, Miko. Confirmed shutdown. Uh, Challenger has delivered to space the largest human payload in the history of mankind. Four men, one woman. Roger, sir. Eight minutes, 44 seconds. Confirm external tank separation. Eight minutes, 50 seconds. Challenger now performing an evasive maneuver, moving below and uh, beyond the external tank. Go, no, go, status check and mission control by Flight Director Jay Green uh, for the first ohms burn and shutting down the auxiliary power units.